Hey there, Pisces. Namaste. This one is for you guys. Thank you very, very much for tuning in, coming back or coming as a new one. I truly appreciate all of your support, love and light. Um, this is a general reading for the sign of Pisces, placements of Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it affects time phases of recent past, present moment and near future. As I have mentioned, it is a general, so it will probably not resonate with every single one of you watching. So keep in mind, take only what does resonate with you and apply it to your situation. The roles can be reverse in tarot, always, especially if you are a cross watcher. Whatever the case is here, Pisces, just make yourself comfortable and enjoy the show. Excuse me. A message fall on the ground. In a reverse, we are having judgment. So we're having judgment in a reverse, not looking towards me as the reader, but looking towards the camera. And it's, it's that kind of a, you know, sanction that I'm getting when messages like this come because it happens quite often uh, last period of time. And I feel like it's coming towards you, you know. It wants to come towards you. Your karma, your judgment day, something that you deserve. And I feel like this is something you actually pray for, something you want to have, something you want to manifest. But we have it in a reverse. So you're not ready to receive the gift yet. Anyhow, let's dive into your messages, my lovely Pisces. Okay, for a lot of you, you are broken hearted. I feel like this might happen recently, but whether recently or not, you, you might be feeling broken hearted. Maybe you're going through that process. It affects your emotions and feelings, how you go through your daily routine. I do feel that, which, again, can create the blockages of actually having your manifestation happening, right? And that will be that judgment in a reverse. Thank you very much for being here. I truly do appreciate. Like, share and subscribe if you already have not. For some of you, you have Virgo in your chart. Let's talk about your overall energy first. We have the world, yeah. And... That is that change that is coming in. It's happening. It's here. And I feel like you are just going through the process, Pisces. <sighs> Picking yourself up. Rebuilding yourself. So once you're ready, your gift is going to come to you. Don't doubt that. World represents changes and cycles. When something ends, automatically we have a start, you know, from another point of view, from another side of the coins. This is a major arcana, so it's big. It's big. 21. And we have equality of three. And in numerology, three represents manifesting. The unity of the holy. You know, also when you show some. Recent past for you. Page of Swords, Air Energy, Jumani, Libra and Aquarius in a combination with the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, I feel like this is about a person. It can be that for some of you, Queen of Pentacles represents you, but for others of you, this is the person you were dealing with. Um, I'm talking in the present because, yeah, we are having a look into the recent past. Uh, recent past. 
Um, if you have some herb prominent in your chart, this could be representation of you. And the Queen of Pentacles is down to earth. And she's very loving, big empath, very caring, very nurturing. And she's ready, you know, she's that stable no matter what kind of storm comes towards her. She's down to earth, keeping those feet on earth, being connected to Mother Earth. Being loyal to Dad. Page of Swords is new energy. So for a lot of you, this was actually a new person. If this is another human being, if this is another person, somebody you really liked. Uh, to be honest, I'm picking up, it's actually your energy, the Queen of Pentacles. And we have that new beginning, a new start of something. Um, the energy of Page of Swords is literally about learning. Learning how to be stable, how to be empathic, how to keep those feet on the ground once the storm hits you, how to manage all of the emotions and feelings and what is going through you, um, you know, not only to pass the day, but also to remain sane in that sense. So, yes, it is a new start. It is a new beginning. And I feel like this is just the start of preparation for that new cycle that is being born here. This is, you know, the world is very, very powerful and strong energy. Randomly cutting the deck... Yeah, this is going to turn quite successfully. We have nine of pentacles. This is very pure, open, and very wise energy. I feel like I'm talking to old souls here, and those are naturally empathic ones. So present moment is shown for you with the three of pentacles energy, earth energy again, and we have the chariot. In Syrian major con a number of seven. <laughs> Uh, I'm picking up that for some of you, seven might be feeling like your lucky number. And it's really a support for you to go for something, especially when it comes to working together with somebody. Now, this can be business, this can be career, this can be relationship, this can be, um, you know, with a family member, this can be something personal where you get to unite me, myself and I and just work towards your goals, your dreams, your motives. But something is moving in the present moment, and you get to see, and I feel like you get to see the offer. I feel it's some kind of an offer for, for cooperation, celebration, and, and teamwork. And I feel like it really makes you happy, so you get the feeling, okay, let's move. Let's go towards that. Let's do this. Near future is saying, sun is going to come out. <laughs> Always. Always. And I'm really picking up. This is going to make you so happy and so emotional. You will have the clarity. You will have the clarity. Major icon of Leo, number 19. And we have the equality of one, ten, but we forget about the zero and we have the one, which is again signifying that new start, new chapter, new beginning. Eight of Wands, near future, is saying there is going to be a lot of communicating, a lot of um, coming together. This is the energy of Unity, reuniting, active energy, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Movement. So you are moving so with clarity. It's coming to you and it's going to make you very, very happy, you know, joyful and satisfied. And it has to do with three of pentacles. Yeah. And for a lot of you, it's going to be a different kind of a scenario, right? We are having a general reading. And Pisces, if you are interested into your own personal reading, 
we can make it happen. Definitely check out the description box. You have all of the information written in there. So let's see, Page of Swords with Queen of Pentacles. What is that about? That is about you awakening. You awakening, and as I said that, I see at the bottom of the deck we have the Master. And the Master is wise. The Master is learning the lesson. And the Master is moving on, leveling up. And this is exactly what is happening for you. Underneath that laziness, which is another message of I'm, I'm sitting and I'm being into my comfort zone and I feel like that is changing. The universe is pushing you towards success. That's why the nine of pentacles came out as I randomly cut the deck. The universe is supporting you, pushing you to go out of your comfort zone and be the master. Master something new that is creating, recreating in here. Something quite new that you are learning about. And it has to do with yourself. It has to do with that energy of being stable and feeling stable. Like, really, nothing can move me because I'm, I'm, I'm in alignment with myself. So no matter if, you know, it's that kind of stuff when somebody offends you or somebody wants to poke you or somebody's triggering you, somebody or something you know, and you're like, bitch, I'm fine. Like, no, thank you. I'm not going to fall for your silly games because I'm, I'm, I'm passing that. I'm passing that. I'm passing that. You know, I'm loving this reading. Clarification, we have regrets and creativity. So it's coming to surface, but it's a part of the process for you to, yeah, feel regretful. Forgive yourself. Forgive the people who hurt you, who offended you, to, who triggered you, who poked you, who hurt you, whatever the case scenario might be for you, Pisces. But uh, this is about forgiveness. And we have creativity. So, yeah, you're doing it. Creating the new energy of stability and feeling grounded very aligned first chakra here clarifying the three of pentacles with the chariot excuse me my nose did you we have feelings yeah i feel like at the present moment you caught that those feelings all over the place but it's actually going to turn out quite positive because in the future the first message is showing the sun okay but i will come to that so we have feelings, and I feel like this is about, you know, um, finding the balance and harmony in, in a teamwork where you get to show your feelings and where you get to be who you are. And I feel like you're checking that out. It can be that you are not quite showing your feelings yet, but you are, you know, uh, maybe learning how to open up, how to speak honest from your heart. And we have it with rebel, Aquarian energy. And this is very free spirit. And I feel like that is exactly that. Standing to yourself, standing to what you feel, and not being ashamed of that, you know? Real deal. You know, rebel is, does not want to be chained. Very free energy, very intelligent, very wise. For some of you, you may get to experience the change in your feelings, but it's bringing in balance because you see we have Mercury, we have Venus, and they're coming, mixing together as you read this card here. I'm picking up that energy of a storm. Not as a weather as a feeling. I don't know if that has to do with where you live, where your area is, maybe, you know, the hometown, hometown, hometown. Bottom of the deck for this clarification, we have being alone. And underneath that, we have battle. And underneath that, love. So, there was somebody you really want to work with 
and cooperation is possible, building a connection is possible, but in the past you were not showing your true feelings, you were not opening up to this person, you were faking it, you know, for your own reasons. And that was creating a battle, of course, it's going to create a battle. But you were going through that process of releasing, forgiving, and passing that by. I feel like you're coming out of the isolation mood, of the, the feeling of loneliness. Because I feel, Pisces, you, quite, you felt quite lonely. Especially if this is, you know, another person. Or maybe even a group of people, maybe multiple people. It's almost like you felt rejected. So you were not able to open up and show who you are and how you feel towards um, specific situations or just towards them. The fool wanted to jump out of it. Okay, so let's move to the clarification of the near future, the sun and eight of wands. Let's see about that. Okay, message fell on the ground, not in a reverse. I will have a look into that. And again, it's watching towards you. And it's exhaustion. I feel like emotional baggage is just going to fall off your shoulders. And it's really getting to me now. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I want to cry. Um, bottom of the deck for this clarification, we have seen beyond the illusion. So you are breaking free. Underneath that, I'm loving it even more. We are letting go. So this is most of it emotional baggage for you. And you are releasing that because you finally get to see the clarity. This is just a confirmation about the sun that is going to shine up on you because you will see that there is still the light at the end of the tunnel and not everything is about, you know, gray, black, white. You will see the colors and you will enjoy them. For the clarification, we have consciousness. So this is your awakening and we have it with exhaustion again. This is very, very tired energy. I mean, look at the person illustrated. Tired as fuck. Like, I can't stand it. I can't take it anymore, you know? <sighs> Let's see what Romans angels would say in this type scenario. Show me love, me love. You have attraction, and I feel like this is about you attracting. We have, very soon, decide clearly what you want so it can come to you very soon. And this has to do with the way you shine, exactly the energy you are going to bring and invite into your light. Into your light. You heard that? I wanted to say into your light. It's like awakening to recognizing you are light. Consciousness. Leveling up. And we had the master. <sighs> we have engagement, which can mean a lot. And I feel like this is just leveling up the connection. You start building with somebody, and you will see. Yeah. As the puzzles come together. Love universe messages for Pisces, Sun and Rising Venus. Let's hear it out. Uh, 
I'm hearing everything I want to say. I can go poetic this way. This is nice. Because, you know, I'm a singer and I do write my own songs. This is lovely. Okay, you have a couple of them to hear. <laughs> all those is the love has been there all along. Most people are just trying to survive. Don't be misled. I heart you is a beautiful message to keep going forward because you are loved. Love doesn't have to mean near. So this is somebody who is not really near you, in your uh, city, in your environment. You needn't worry. I mean, you definitely have some, some earth in your chart. And we have yeah. When it comes to choosing who will be in your life, I recommend valuing their yeah quality above all others. Have it your way. Let's see about an advice regarding this reading for you, Pisces. Let's see about the advice. Okay. You need to hear two. This is the second one. No, this is the second one. Okay. Very interesting. Um, so we have tempting. When choosing between between two evils pick the one you haven't tried yet so this has to do with some kind of a toxicity we have recycled that was falling on the ground uh not looking towards me not looking towards you guys but looking in this kind of a direction recycled you were dealing with things from the past it's the same old story clear out the junk and you know it's like it's it's like it's standing in the middle as i just described it's not looking towards me it's not looking towards the camera. So it's somewhere in the middle. And that is the middle where you are now finding yourselves. And that is that cycle that is coming to a close. The cycle of the past junk. That's creating that emotional baggage. And I picked up another advice for you. It's not in a reverse. But as I got the message, it just came to me that you're not yet ready. And believe me or not, it's happiness. And this is exactly what this reading is about. Because we do have happiness as the, you know, the happiest tarot card in a whole deck. We have it in the near future for you. So enjoy the journey. Why should I say more? Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will catch you guys pretty, pretty soon. Enjoy uh, your day, night, morning, wherever you are in this world. And uh, 